Well, another year rolls around. We've got through the winter and now we're into the spring and obviously the flowers are basically finished. The ladies are all getting moved on, so the bloody bee trucks are flying around the Riverland like friggin' Rundle Street. You wonder what Rundle Street is, that's a little busy little street down in the city. Anyway, we're, um, yeah, so we thought we'd just come out and have a bit of a review as to how the, bud, how the fruit set. So we'll see if we get enough crop to survive for another year. Hopefully we do. It's all looking pretty good so far, but early days yet. So we gotta get through the frost season. So it's a bit, bit early to tell on the non perels but they look like they've got a reasonable amount of, well, they've definitely had a bloody beautiful flowering, so but the weather has been a bit dodgy. So you get these little, the little fruitlets. So the little fruitlets at the end of the new growth. Well, actually the second year growth, if you want to get excited, but anyway. <laughs> and that's obviously was a flower. Now it's going to be a little almond. And then we've got to give them some food and some water. And eventually you can have some almond milk or roasted almonds or sugared almonds, toffee almonds, 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 almonds. You need to eat some more because I think some are getting planted. <laughs> so this is pretty much what we call shuck fall, which is when all the little, little bloody bits fall off, little flower petals end off out the back. Or oh, hang on a minute, it's shuck fall when they open up. No, anyway, that is shuck fall, I think. Hell, I sound like a fucking expert like everything else in my life, don't I? So, hell, I'll have the almond growers ringing me up saying, what the hell, you silly bush bee man? <laughs> but anyway, I've done this for a while, so it doesn't matter what it's called, I know what time of year it is. And over here, we've got some that are a bit further advanced. Yeah, so these, these ones are a little bit further advanced. So they've, I mean, they've still just finished flowering because you've got some that are just coming on. The tree hasn't actually decided how much fruit it's gonna keep yet. So not all of this will stay here. We normally have a couple of drops a year. We'll have one in another month or so, and then one around Christmas time when it decides which way we are for, or well, whether they've been pollinated. And um, yeah, so heaps of food, heaps of water, and hopefully heaps of almonds. Looking at the onion weed, <laughs> I'm just looking at this is a bit of the this is a bit of the wash from the filter shed, and this onion weed's decided to get going. And I'm just looking how busy the girls are on it. I had to talk to it. I mean, I might want a little bit more than one onion weed <laughs> to supply the bees, but I guess if you had a thousand acres of the crap, it'd be pretty good. So, what would that taste like? Onion weed honey? Would that be a bit onion weedy? Oniony? Oniony? I think it's interesting that everybody's got a misconception about how angry and nasty bees are and how they want to bite you because everybody's probably walked on one and got a bee sting or accidentally squashed one and got a bee sting but here they are there's heaps and heaps here and this little bit of onion weed all working away and you can tease them off actually as long as you don't grab hold of them and they bloom and stir them up they don't want to bite you because of course if they sting you they die you get a fat lip and they die so i mean you know it's not in their best interest so i think there's a lot of misconception about bees being dangerous and being hurtful you know if you don't them and disturb well look at me i'm disturbing them i've scared them off of this little bit of food here and they've gone over there they don't they really don't want to know about it so like about stinging you i mean so yeah i reckon you know perhaps let some of the let some of your weeds grow and maybe you can save a bee today The young fella was just asking me about how we get the water here. So I thought, oh well, I better show you. This is actually what we used to call the soldier settlement. So back after the war, there was a whole heap of um, government funding and organization to help the soldiers get some, uh, I guess, get some property. So they subdivided up all these land into 20, 30 acre properties. 
and they put in all the infrastructure so they could get some irrigation and next thing you know we have a whole town in the middle of nowhere so we're pretty much pretty much like everywhere else that grows almonds we're in the middle of a desert and there's a bit of a creek that runs past but the creek's a fair way over that way so they pump all the water and everybody's got a little outlet a little meter and so we all can sort of work together and then we all pay in for the power and the maintenance of the system and it actually works really good now it's on demand it's even better so you can actually electronically put it in and order it up and you can get it when you want it almost so yeah it's pretty cool and a little shed there it's got the little filter in it which is where we got that got to put it through that to get it out for the drippers but yeah I know that's probably as boring as batshit but it's pretty interesting <laughs> Well, I hope you big guys have been enjoying our journey into beekeeping. We've been having fun, you coming along with us. We've got a little bit distracted with almond growing, but we've had some feedback of people enjoying the almond content. So we're putting a little bit in. Hopefully we're not overdoing it. Hopefully we're doing it enough. You know, anyway, we're open to a bit of feedback. If you're enjoying our show here at the Bush Bee Man, just remember to skip over to the Patreon page and give us a, give us a bit of support. A couple of dollars goes a long way. We've been actually updated it. We've got a few different rewards and a few different options. And um, yeah, anyway, it's worth having a look if you haven't been there for a while. <laughs>